Welcome to patch 1.5, and we are looking at the brand new factory and some key changes you need to be aware about. Stay tuned until later in the video because there's a big change on the factory key that you're going to want to know about. So some of the obvious stuff that I'm noticing right away is the texture change, which obviously they talked about, as well as the lighting change. It's a little bit more dramatic with the lighting than I was expecting. I thought they'd keep generally the same, but it seems like every ounce of light and shadows has been retouched or changed almost completely. Is somebody in here? Oh god, the audio is also very different. I don't know if this is because of the factory map. We're only about a minute into the raid and we will have three scavs coming at us on our spawn. So that's going to be something to get used to. I don't think I've ever spawned in lockers. So that's kind of a weird. So it looks like they have changed some of the spawns. Because I remember I've spawned on the stairs and did they make lockers bigger? Has they always been this big? Or maybe just because it looks clean and... Now what I really want to see is the addition that they did to the upper layers of factory because they've essentially expanded the whole network from both underneath and above. So right there you can see the stairs. You can get up here and wow, you can see half of the factory from this right here minus the underground. This is a great vantage point. Like, and you have enough to kind of use this cover in like emergency situation if you're getting shot at. Oh, okay, that's the sky bridge. Damn. You can get some nasty angles with like rifles or whatnot. And okay, so that's how you get to the middle part. So it extends. And is this? Yeah, that's the underground by the other tunnel. Whoa. So there's no more door. They just ripped open that whole door. I'm really curious to see how this spawn looks like. Because this is the spawn. If you get spawned here, you know you're in trouble. So they've changed the lightings on this and they've made it a lot darker. Which I actually think is a good thing since if you do get the luck of unfortunately spawning here, at least you have some shadows and lights you can play with to your advantage. Because before, it was mostly pretty well lit and you were literally a sitting duck waiting to be shot. Unless you shot out the lights, which, you know, most people wouldn't do because that would obviously give away the position. Yeah, the, the shadows in the darkness. You're going to have to very much play differently in the new factory. Before, you just put on your best, you know, Sunday's outfit, and you just go to town chatting it up. Now, you can still probably do that, but once people start getting better gear and kind of getting used to how the sound and everything plays out, the fact that you lay out the lights, you're really going to have to use the shadows to your advantage if you really want to stay competitive, since it seems that BSG is emphasizing heavily of the shadows and lights here, trying to play... To your strengths. So this area by med station looks more or less the same. Just, you know, obvious facelift. Everything, all the bells and broken uh, factory equipment. Still all in the same place, more or less. Nothing too drastic over here. So this textural updates. This underground. The shit was a battle? Like, there's a lot of... Oh, this must be the cult. We have people all stabbed to death here. Lots of blood. What look like sacrifices. What is this kill? Oh, what the hell? So that feels like that's a, just a death trap. So it, you can use that to, as a quick escape just to run on the ground if you're being pursued on that middle level. That looks like a kill shot if I've ever seen one. And it doesn't go anywhere. Wow, they, so this is the new part of the underground, and they really put a lot of emphasis on this. You can see they created all kinds of different pathways and made it essentially a giant maze. And this brings you to that double boilers. Oh. Oh, he's sitting. So that wasn't even like a new pathway. That's just all we done. Wow, they put a lot more look into that because it was just a straight boring tunnel, and bam, you get to, to the double boilers. Like, this actually looks like the underground part of a real factory. Because before, it was very basic, very much just looking like a giant bunker without any kind of pipes or sounds or any kind of like depth to it. They really flushed out the whole factory concept, it seems like. And look at this. This is all new area. So, based on the direction this is going, I'm assuming this is going to bring us to the building by offices. Oh, it brings you all the way to the back over here, behind offices. 
Okay, so this is actually kind of a, a cheeky little maneuver because you can go literally from one side of the map to the other side, whether you're above ground, on ground, or underground. So you're no longer forced to literally go one way or two ways in the map. So this is really going to open up pathways. And I wonder if this is going to slow down factory because usually factory raids are done within five minutes of start. Everyone just runs each other, shoots each other. It is minus if together runs at you with this giant sledgehammer, then that's a whole different kind of circumstance in that moment. That flickering light is definitely going to mess me up because I'm not used to... Usually only lights flicker when a grenade is thrown, but now that this is standard and everything's different, I'm going to end up shooting a lot of stuff that's not people and wasting a lot of ammo real quickly. So that's outside. I wonder how do we get outside? If I understand there's a stairway or somewhere near that, so let's go ahead and head downstairs and see if that takes us to where we need to go. Now I do agree that what other people have been saying that it is kind of hard to see things again because of the light changes and how severe they are. Because there's not much light. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, you really have to play to the shadows. Almost like you're fighting like a cultist, if you will. Let me just make sure there's nothing else hiding in these corners. Oh, hey, and you're just standing there letting your buddy get shot. Which I hear him wheezing somewhere. Around a corner? Nope, oh, and he's down. So that looks like it also goes to the underground. Can I hop out this window? I don't think I can. Usually you can't with the windows, but... But it looks like you can vault through a window pretty easy. That was actually a really clean animation. I wonder if they reworked the vaulting mechanic and kind of smoothed out some of the wrinkles that it had for a whole wipe. But, you know, it was just introduced. So that makes sense. So is this the courtyard extract? It is. Okay, so this is what the outside looks like so far. Not a huge outside. But you can definitely place some angles. You can see into the office, and just like the office can see down to you. Made a few thousand XP, and looks like we spawn in gate three. Has that always been a spawn? I feel like this is also another weird spawn that I've not seen before. So after various testing and multiple raids, the factory emergency exit key only works for the seller's exits. So you no longer need the factory registry key to get to majority of the exfils on factory. Now it only unlocks the seller's gates, which is a W because now you're not forced to having to fight Stinkrat for the only exits out of factory if you don't have the key, which is a massive W if I want to say this again, which I do, because that sucked. Everyone always camped that, especially early on and wipe it. That was such a pain to go through. Now we couldn't do a factory video if we didn't talk about the sky bridge, which is right in the middle of factory at the very top level. And you can, as you can see, you have a pretty good view of basically almost everything. So this is the middle of the sky bridge, and it looks like right by a helicopter. Uh, yes, right there by a helicopter. So that's gonna be the new call sign for this area is helicopter. That rat is hiding up by the helicopter, and this looks like a watchtower almost. Something's prowling about. So, you got, you got to have an amazing view up here at this watchtower because, no, where the hell is it? If you think about where it's at, this should be able to overlook Med Bay in that whole other, like, area. So you'll be able to see Tegila from up here and be kind of safe until he bum rushes you like no other. Probably flying through the air with his little slush hammer. Do you think the factory changes are W, or do you think there should have been something else that was done? Let me know down below in the comment section, and if you liked this factory video and you want to see more videos on Tarkov, go ahead and leave a like and a comment about that too as well, since you're already down there. As always, you all have a howling good evening, and I will see you in the next one.